brain of a dead man, waiting to live again in a body I made with my own hands. With my own hands. I love the original Frankenstein. What I love most about it is actually the atmosphere and the production design. It just has this great gothic feel. It's a perfectly good brain, Doctor. Well, you ought to know. It came from your own laboratory. The brain that was stolen from my laboratory was a criminal brain. There's something really warm about the movie. In a, in a, I know it's a monster movie and it's scary and it's gothic, but there's something really wondrous about the atmosphere. People now think it's just Morris Karloff stabbing around, going, ah! ah what? I think most people think that Frankenstein is just an evil monster, but if you watch the original movie, he's like the elephant man. He's just so hideous on the outside, but maybe he's got something more going on on the inside. Can't help himself. And I thought, oh, this is a really great character. No! He doesn't mean to kill this little girl. You feel sorry not only for the little girl, you feel sorry for him, because you know it's, it's kind of all over. Frankenstein has to be scary, and he has to be a monstrous. But I felt like in the original movie, you have to feel sympathy for him. And that's a fine line, because you really don't want to get sappy. Ah! And Frankenstein, he's angry, and he's willing to kill. And people are trying to kill him, and so he's got all this baggage. The monster is, like any of us, really looking for love and acceptance. And it's sort of a tragic tale of what can happen when a human being or a monster doesn't get that. You end up pulling for him, in a way. Friend, good. Friend, good. <laughs> I think Boris Karloff wasn't just one of the great horror actors. He was just a great actor, because he, he took what could have just been a horror monster creature and made him very sympathetic. I mean, he created something that people hadn't seen before. <laughs> When most people talk about Frankenstein now, they don't think, oh, that 1818 novel by Mary Shelley. They think, oh, Boris Karloff in the most famous monster character makeup ever created. Because, you know, we're far enough along the series of films now for, for them to have their own iconic history. You're crazy! Crazy, am I? We'll see whether I'm crazy or not. When I watched the original, you know, everybody thinks they know it's alive, it's alive, it's alive. And I watched it thinking, oh, it's going to be melodramatic and silly. And it is melodramatic, but it's rather magnificent, actually. It's the central piece of the original movie. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! He says, in the name of God, now I know what it feels like to be God. And these lines were so inflammatory that they were actually cut in uh, subsequent releases of the film in 1937. When I do the line, I'm not trying to sort of copy him, but I hope that I hope that my performance has a flavor of, of the, the size and grandeur of the original. And action! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! I saw The Bride of Frankenstein, because that's so great. That's also a terrific movie, and some people say it's better than the original. Because they were so well done, the people who made them loved them. And? Like, the one thing I can tell you about Van Helsing, anybody who sees Van Helsing is going to know that whoever made this thing loves this thing. We start our movie with the end of the original Frankenstein movie, in a sense, and then move on from there. Frankenstein is such an icon, he has to look like that icon to a certain extent. I said he had to have a flat head, he had to have bolts on his neck, and he had to have the Doc Martens on his feet. And I said, other than that, we were really going to play with it a little bit. My attitude is, well, with my movie, I didn't want to go back and try to create the same thing. I have to create a completely different character. And in fact, I went back to the books more. <laughs> we got Shooter Hensley, and he, Shooter came in and just you know, knocked it out of the ballpark. Deep down, there is some sexy something about him. and. Um... I'm so glad that I could bring that out. It's alive! Frankenstein breaks your heart in this film. It really is another view on the character, and it's an extraordinary job done by Shura. I can't, the moment Steve said he cast him, I thought, who else could play this role? We belong dead. Ah. Ah. 
I do my research because I love reading this stuff and I love watching these movies, but I always find bits and pieces that I think, oh, I love that moment. I've got to use that. People are going to go, oh, I remember. The, you know, because they know what Frankenstein looks like in silhouette. <laughs> It's a high wire act. You're trying to scare people one moment, make them laugh the next. I love the whole mixed bag. We love this stuff. Oh!